Hello everyone, my name is Keith, Amateur Radio Call, WD4PTJ. And today I wanted to talk to you about something called the High Frequency Global Communication System. The Air Force uses this in different countries uh, around the world. And they use it to send what's called Emergency Action Messages, or EAM. So what is an Emergency Action Message? These messages are of a high priority since they are for strategic military operations, including nuclear attacks if it was ever needed. Because of this, the format and complete accuracy of the message is necessary. These messages are sent on short wave frequencies, and I'll put in the comments uh, below uh, some of the frequencies where you can hear this. Uh, anyone who has a short wave uh, radio uh, or a ham radio with general coverage and uh, an HF radio should be able to hear these uh, these messages. If you turn to this uh, uh, one of these frequencies and listen for very long, eventually you'll hear one of these emergency action messages. The format of these messages starts with a six letter readout that is read in phonetic letters and typical message is 30 characters long. An EAM can also contain numbers as well as phonetic letters. Keep in mind that when you hear these messages that most of the time they are just a drill and let's hope that in the case of a, of a nuclear attack that they're always just a drill. So now that we know what an emergency action message is, that brings me to this. Uh, I've noticed lately in the past few weeks with what's been going on uh, in Ukraine and with Russia, I have turned on the radio when I would get home from work late at night and turn it by that frequency, and I would hear a noise that I don't normally hear on that frequency. I don't know if it's... Uh, jamming going on or what uh but the frequency when you see what the frequency is if you are a ham radio operator or uh listen to short wave you may realize that that frequency uh at night time would be more likely to allow you to hear a signal that was coming from uh let's say europe or or russia uh i didn't hear that frequency during this time, on that frequency uh, during this time, I didn't hear that noise during the daytime. So that leads a question, and I'm just asking it as a question. Uh, is that noise, uh, Russia jamming that frequency uh, at this point in time? You know, Putin has put his nuclear forces at a higher uh, state of alert, so could that a higher state of alert include trying to jam the the uh, Air Force's uh, global frequencies. So I've got video of, uh, of what that noise sounds like, and you can hear it uh, in these videos. And at least one of them, I'll I'll be turning the VFO, and you can hear that the noise goes away when you get away from that frequency. that you've heard the, that noise, 
let me say that I came home from work last night and did not, when I turned on the radio, did not hear that noise in the background. And I did hear that there was a number of, uh, of emergency action messages being sent in a short period of time. And some of them seemed to me to be fairly long. I didn't count the number of characters. And I have one of those uh, uh, messages recorded. And you can hear that now. And now I'll add a video of a emergency action messages that uh, message that just came on while I've been making this video. And you can see it's uh, a typical message uh, and what it kind of sounds like. Uh, you'll also hear Sky King messages. Uh, they are our higher priority. And if there's a emergency action message going on at the time, a Sky King message comes on, it will come in over the top of the emergency action message. So I hope this uh, is interesting to you and informative. Uh, you can give me your opinions and whether you think that noise might be any type of jamming. I've had some people say that it might be just a, a, a holding signal to hold that frequency or uh, some type of digital signal. Uh, I'm not that much into digital, so somebody else might tell me if that sounds like it could be any type of digital signal. So anyway... Hope this has been interesting and uh, always feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. 73, everyone. Mike.